Welcome to the Belik Method, where today we're going to be finding the greatest common factor of this given trinomial, and then I'll give you another one on top of that that we can do. But first off, um, what is the greatest common factor? It's what each one of these terms has in common, and it's factor of that. So um, I have a 5, a 15, and a 45. You're going to look first at the numbers, okay, the coefficients to each one of these terms. 5, 15, 45, those numbers should stand out to you as mathematicians as what do they have in common? What is the greatest common factor of each one of those? And that's going to be 5. 5 makes a 5, 3 fives would make a 15, and 9 fives would make a 45. So I'm going to write down 5 first off because 5 is my greatest common factor for each one of these. Now um, I have x to the fifth, x to the third, and x. Okay, so what I need to just do here is say, what is my lowest exponent? What are they, if they're all x's, the greatest common factor that I have is just one single x. So my answer to this, my GCF, my greatest common factor, is going to be 5x, greatest common factor. Okay, now, how does this work? How can I show this so it makes sense to you? Um, if you list each term out, what do they have in common is what we're really saying. What's the common factor between each one of these? So if I were to write these out and list my prime factors, what they would show is 5x to the fifth power is really a 5 times 5x's. 15x to the third power is really a 3 times a 5 times an x times an x times an x, 3x's. And 45x is really... Here are my prime factors, 3 times 3 times 5, 3 times 3 makes that 9, 9 times 5 makes a 45 total, and I have 1x. So what do I have in common with each one of these common factor? I have a 5 in every single one of them. I have 3s here, but I don't have a 3 to make a 5. So my greatest common factor is 5, and then what do each one of these all have in common? The lowest exponent is a singular x. So that means 5x is my greatest common factor, okay? Some of you may need to list these out, while others of you are going to just be able to look at these numbers and say what's the greatest common factor. Boom, I've got it. And then look at your lowest exponent. If they are all x's, the lowest one is only 1 as an exponent, so therefore I'm only going to have an exponent of 1. Now, if that was a 2, changes this to times another x, and we would be saying two x's are common in all of them, meaning our GCF would be 5x squared. Okay, let's look at another example, very similar to this one. Show you how I would do this mentally. You're just basically trying to figure out what is the common factor between each one of the terms. All right, so if I were to give you, let's say, 3x to the fourth power, Minus 9x squared, uh, minus 12x. First thing I'm going to look at is my coefficients, 3, 9, and 12. What is the common factor between those three? And it would be a, you guessed it, a 3. Again, I have x to the fourth, x squared, and x. The lowest exponent is a singular exponent of 1. Okay, so that is going to be common in all three of these. They all have an x um, with them, this being the lowest of them all. So my greatest common factor here is 3x. You can find it very quickly, just like that. Hopefully this makes sense. Good luck finding the GCF in trinomials.